Well, boomer sooner, everybody. What a way to bounce back after the, one of the most disappointing losses in sooner history than to come back and beat your arch nemesis, the Texas Longhorns, in their state fair. In this version, Oklahoma won 29-23 as the Sooners cross to their state fair and survive Texas. We'll break it down. Plus, we'll welcome in, coming up next, we'll welcome in a guest to the show. Thanks for watching, guys, and Boomer Sooner. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name's Harry James, and thanks, Coach. Always nice to get you to participate in my show. <laughs> All right, guys. This is how it happened that the Sooners cross to their state fair and survive Texas 29-23 in Dallas. This is how it happened Statistically, for the first for the game, passing yards, Baker Mayfield had 302 yards in the air to go with two touchdowns tonight, the other night. Did, however, throw his first interception in a year. His longest completion was 59 yards. The newbie to this rivalry and local product Sam Ellinger, number 11 Sam Ellinger, had 278 yards in the air. To go with one touchdown. He didn't have a pick. His longest completion of the night was for 42 yards. Rushing his ball for Oklahoma, of course, as we all expect, the big guy, number four, Trey Sermon. Preach, as Toby Rowland would say. 20 carries, 97 yards. Didn't have a touchdown on the ground. His longest turn of the night was for 20 yards. Hot Rod Rodney Anderson had another set of 10 carries. He went for 53 yards and a touchdown. Uh, did score a touchdown. His longest run of the night, night was 21 yards. For Texas, their quarterback, number 11, Sam Ellinger, of course, Sooner fans expected him to be part of the rushing attack, and he was, to go for 22 yards, or 22 carries, I'm sorry, for 122 yards and a touchdown. His longest turn of the night was for 18 yards. The other returning, the other big time rusher for Texas, number 21, Kyle Porter, but he only had three carries to go for seven yards. He didn't have a touchdown. His longest turn of the night, five yards. For Oklahoma on the receiving end and Texas on the receiving end, both teams were led in catches, all with four. Oklahoma's two leading returning, two main receivers with four receptions, four for number 81, Mark Andrews, and four for number five, Marquise Brown. First, number 81, Mark Andrews, four, carry, four catches, 97 yards. He did score that big boy touchdown on the 59-yard uh, reception. That 59-yard reception was the long for Mark. Number five, Marquise Brown also had a big night. Four catches for 53 yards, zero touchdowns, but 40, 42 of the 53 yards was on one play. The 42 yards, the longest reception of the night. For Texas, number 25, C.J. Warren, and number 17, Reggie Humphreys, Humphrey Mips was the leading receiver. 
Warren first. C.J. Warren, number 25, had four catches to go with four receptions. He had 55 yards, zero touchdowns, 17 was the long. For Reggie Mips, four catches, four receptions, 42 yards, zero touchdowns, 22 was the longest reception. You gotta have some defense in this one if you're gonna get the big 20. If you're gonna help someone under 30 yards, 30 points, I'm sorry, in the Big 12, and they do for both teams. For Oklahoma, it's number 14, Emmanuel Bill, number seven. Or that's how many tackles he had was seven. He didn't have any fumbles recovered, fumbles forced, or interceptions. Also, number eight, Khalil Houghton, six tackles, zero forced. Or, and recovered fumbles. Also, zero picks. Texas. M Malik Jefferson and Nashawn Hughes for Texas. Malik Jefferson first. Number 46, Malik Jefferson. 11 tackles. Zero forced fumbles. Zero fumbles recovered and zero INTs. Nashawn Hughes, seven tackles. Zero forced fumbles. Zero fumbles recovered and zero INTs. Kicking went to Oklahoma, Austin Seibert, and Texas, Josh Rowland. No relation to Toby Rowland, the OU play-by-play -play guy. Speaking of OU, Oklahoma, three for three for, uh, for the Sibes. Twenty, uh, Mr. Seibert, 25, 30, 28, and 36 was the long. Joshua Rowland, 100% for him also. But his one and only completion, 34 yards. Punting the ball, Austin Seibert, uh, five punts, 47.0 in average, 56 was the long, two balls landed at the 20 yard line, and, well, zero touchbacks. Then you have number 13, Michael Dixon. Dickerson, Dixon, five punts, 55 yards on average, 69 along, two punts in the side of the 20-yard line, and one touchback. All right, guys, so that's how that happened statistically. Now let's get to the game itself and see how, as Barry Switzer puts it, we beat Texas. It happened first quick because with 13-11 left, no, with 12-13 left, I'm sorry, in the first quarter. That's when Oklahoma gets started. 53-yard bomb. Baker, number six, Baker Mayfield. A 54-yard boom to the transfer to Kentucky. Number two, Jeff Badet. 12-13 left. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 7-0 quickly. Austin Seibert doubles it up. 10-0. Uh, with a 25-yard field goal with 3.49 left, and it is 10 nothing Sooners as we head to the second quarter. In the second quarter, that's when Hot Rod gets in the end zone. You start on the in the air, then you go for the ground pound. The ground and pound was a 15-yard touchdown run for Hot Rod, number 24, Rodney Anderson. 17 nothing Sooners, 13-11 left in the quarter. With 4.32 left in the quarter, Austin Seibert, Seibert, 28-yard field goal, up and good. With 4.32 left, the Sooners lead 20 to Zippo. But here comes Texas. Number 11, Sam Allinger, 16-yard touchdown pass to Kyle Porter. Touchdown, Texas. 20-7, to and with 3.14 left, the Sooners lead. After a three and out by Oklahoma, with uh, then with no timeouts, no time left, Joshua Rowland kicks a 34-yard field goal up and do it through the uprights after a pick from Baker Mayfield. And we go to the third. And in the third, Cybert again, 36-yarder. His 36-yarder came with 9-10 left, 23-10, Oklahoma. 
Then came number 25, Chris Warren, the third from Texas, from a yard out. And with 427 left, the Sooners still lead 23-17, but they're tipping closer. Here comes Texas. As we head to the big fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter, Texas takes the lead for the first time in the bowl game. Sam Ellinger, eight-yard quarterback option, touchdown Texas, 24-23. With 9-10 left, the Longhorns lead for the first time in the game. But not for long, baby. That's because number six, Baker Mayfield, finds number 81, Mark Andrews streaking down the field for 59 yards. Touchdown, OKLA, HOMA. They take the lead back, 29-23 with 6.53 left. And there's no scoring after that, baby. Now all those Texas people are crying in their beers because Oklahoma ruins their state fair. And uh, capping because of a couple of big plays. And here are the bigger plays offensively and defensively. Riley's right call of the game was Trey Sermon when he went back and did a little quarterback pass. A little back running back pass. A little halfback pass. 42 yards for Marquise Brown. And the Stoopsie stopping in light. Ellinger was forced out of bounds by 31 Obo Aronquo. At that time, when he was knocked out of the knocked out of bounds, he was also knocked out of the game. And in came Bouchel, brother of Garrett Bouchel. He finished that series. He came in for a couple of plays. Uh, Ellinger had some cobwebs to work out. The Sooners, though, did, of course, as we all know, end up winning the game. And that sets up a fun game with Kansas State Saturday. Woohoo! All right, guys. Thanks for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Tweet me at Hype Man Harry. These videos will also be up on my YouTube account, Boomer Sooner 1982. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. It's been fun, and uh, hey, Boomer Sooner, everybody!